story time! As an artist in the bullet journal community, I am well aware that everyone's creative thing is different. However, I think I'm correct in assuming we've all at one point struggled with art block. Art block. I know, I get shivers just thinking about it. But unfortunately, when it came time to film my September bullet journal setup, which I do every month by the way, so um, subscribe, I was approximately two weeks into yet another creative slump. So here we are at my desk, the morning of August 21st, when I'm supposed to be filming my September plan with me. It's currently like 10.30 in the morning, which is usually the time I would start filming, and I have no ideas. Someone help. If you're unaware of the process I use to plan out my monthly bullet journal themes, I'll link a video down below where I explain just that. Quite often though, when I'm in dire need of inspiration, I turn to the trustworthy app Pinterest. Ignoring this suspiciously Christmas-like ad popping up in freaking August, here's a quick rundown of my search process. I've done a lot of plant things recently, let's switch it up. Ooh, city, okay, city at night, and that sounds aesthetic. Let's fix this spelling, girl, you cannot type. Okay, pretty, how am I supposed to have black, though? I don't know, I guess I'll figure that out later. Purple gasp, I haven't done purple in so long, I should continue this. Wow, look at these, look like Alan Walker album covers. How about city at night aesthetic purple? That sounds specific. Wait, what is this? That's not purple. Okay, that is cloud. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Swipe, 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 that's so pretty. How am I supposed to draw that again? Oh, well. <gasps> New search, anime city at night, purple, I still can't spell. Oh, these are so pretty, but they look like digital art. Am I really about to put this on my bullet journal? Here goes nothing, I guess. Not really what I'm looking for. Let's try another search. Rain, that sounds aesthetic. Nope. Never mind, didn't work. How about looking at the history? Whoa, yes. Downloading all rights to the creator, of course. Don't sue me. So after about three minutes of hectic searching, I found this stunning piece of what I believe is to be digital art. So I attempted to draw it. Hello again, we're back. Um, so I've been sketching this inspired by one of the pictures that I saved off of Pinterest and I had kind of an idea in my head and I hate it. So we're back to the planning board. The planning board ended up failing me as well, those stupid non-existent whiteboards. So at this point I was feeling quite a bit frustrated. But as I always say, when in doubt, Google it. Or in this case, YouTube it. Because I remembered a video I saw months back by Drawing With Waffles, the queen, and when faced with art block, she recommended grabbing a big fat Posca pen and just start drawing squiggles. Well, unfortunately squiggles weren't going to cut it for me, but the concept of mindless creation still applies. So I scrounged around in my unnecessarily jumbled stationery collection, full haul coming next week, and finally found some leftover photos from our girl Pinterest. So that leads me to here. Filming a monthly plan with me video with no detailed sketches, instead just a pencil and a glue stick and some crossed toes praying that mindlessly scrapbooking will point me in a direction that I want to be in. I guess we'll see at the end of the video if those interlock toes worked. Ew, interlock toes? That's what scripting me went with? Before we get too far into this video, although it feels like we have because I've been talking forever, if you haven't already, don't forget to go down and hit that little subscribe button. I'm really close to a thousand subs and I have something really excited planned to celebrate, so if you want to see more bullet journal content from me, I'd love if you could subscribe. Also, if you're ever watching my videos and you want to skip to a particular part, like the calendar page for example, there are always chapters down in the description box below, so hopefully those can help you out. So as you can see, I've chosen these three random photos that I found in my stationery collection. Now, where were these photos from? I have no clue. They were just sitting there, but they all looked like they matched and were pictures of buildings, so I decided to paste them into my journal. You may be asking yourself why I'm doing yet another scrapbooking theme when I told myself multiple times on this channel that I was going to do them and then I wasn't because I hated them, but that was back to scrapbooking theme. Dang, I need a therapist. But I slowly figured out that if I'm going to layer like this, I have to be in the mood for it. I don't have to force myself to do the same thing all month. So I've decided to scrapbook for the cover page, but I'm not going to put pressure on myself to do the same thing for a weekly spread because I know I won't have time during the month. It's all about finding balance in your schedule and doing what works for you at the moment. Unfortunately, I decided not to be a professional YouTuber this month and just stuck all the pictures in with some regular old kindergarten glue stick because I ran out of double-sided tape. But the job's done so I'm not complaining. I was debating using these colored pieces of paper that are coincidentally the same colors that I used last September in my 2020 bullet journal setup and slide them under the photos, but I felt like overall the pattern mixing was a little too busy, so I decided to cut out these little circles instead, and I kinda like how they look. Then I just grabbed my Tombows and Crayola Super Tips and found some colors that kind of match the photos and put together this random title in the top left corner. When I'm telling you that I did not prep any of this in my head before I filmed it, I'm being completely honest. If you can't tell, my usual style is pre-sketching, and even if it's not, I have all the stickers and color palettes and fonts, etc 
planned before I even start filming. But like I keep mentioning, I was going into this completely blind and it threw me out of my comfort zone. However, I actually really liked the turnout because I was not stressed over it. I was just mindlessly creating and it was easy. And I guess from the heart because I just made what I wanted to in that moment. I suppose what I'm trying to say is if you're struggling with a creative block like I was, maybe just pull out a marker or some pictures or some modeling clay and just try mindlessly creating. I know this trick won't work for everyone because in the past I've just preferred taking a break from my art, but you never know what your subconscious mind will create when you're not stressing over the artwork you have in front of you. I also decided to add a little miniature goals page on the left, which is very simple, just a box literally labeled goals, which will hold, you guessed it, all of my monthly goals. <laughs> if you're wondering where I'm going to put my master to-do list this month, however, stay tuned because I may or may not have found a new solution for that one. <clears throat> Future video. <clears throat> As we move on to the calendar page, I just wanted to ask you guys if you noticed a change of scenery in this video that I've used before. I've mentioned this to a few people, but I just wanted to change my aesthetic quote unquote and make it a little more minimal and bright. That way I can use more colors and not just be confined to browns and greens like I used to be. I hope you guys like this change, although if you don't, I honestly don't care because I'm going to stick with it anyway. <laughs> but comment down below if you noticed this change before I said anything because y'all are the real ones. So I found that by the time I got to the calendar page, I was a little done with scrapbooking like I mentioned earlier and I didn't want to go through with more layering so I decided to make these next spreads incredibly simple and I really like how they turned out. My calendar page is just a huge box Duh. because now that school is starting I need so much space for dates. Then I went back to that serif font that I used on the cover page that I really enjoy to write September at the top of the calendar. So now switching over to the Dutch door side which I actually haven't used since April. By the way a link to that video is also down below. In the Dutch door I decided to add a section for gratitude, YouTube planning, and Etsy planning. Nothing special about these two spreads, it's pretty much the same thing I do every month, or at least that I have been for the past couple months, but it's nice to know that I found a system that works for me so I'm not feeling so bad about repeating the same spreads. My camera may or may not have cut out when I was writing the gratitude title, but we're just gonna call it magic. However, these boxes are quite skinny and that's on purpose because a lot of my YouTube and Etsy planning has been moved into a different format, which I will discuss with you guys very shortly. And by shortly, I mean in two weeks when I post the video about it. <laughs> Dang, all these spoilers in this video y'all are getting really lucky. <laughs> After adding some little stickers and washi tape strips both from my Etsy shop and others which will all be linked down below, the setup was, you guessed it, pretty much done. I really hope you enjoyed this video and possibly related to it if you've also been struggling with a creative block recently. Block? Block. Creative block recently. <laughs> If you did like this video, don't forget to go down and subscribe and press the thumbs up button or the thumbs down. Honestly, either way, it doesn't matter because they both help with engagement, so I really don't care. <laughs> Next week, I'm hoping to post a massive stationary haul slash organization video, so if you're interested in that, don't forget to stick around. In the meantime, new and screenshot. Tap this playlist to see all my old 2021 bullet journal setups, or maybe this video if you want to hear me complain about school for 11 minutes straight.